प्रकृति स्वामिष्ठा संभवाभवति भारत अभ्युत्थानवधर्म से विनाशाय संस्थापनाय आज से भगवान डिफरेंस बिटवीन मी एंड यू भगवान से वेद आई नो दैट ऑल पर्स बट त्वम न वेद बट यू डोंट नो वी हैव सीन इन डिटेल एंड देन भगवान ही सेज अजह अपि सत अव्ययात्मा उतना ईश्वर की सन प्रकृति स्वमधिष्ठाय संभवामि अपमायनि so we were seeing yesterday there are three types of realities one is called parvartik satya and is called absolute reality another is called empirical reality is called vyavaharik satya and third one is called subjective reality it's called pratibhasik satya and what we call as a absolute reality so he says this consciousness which is all pervading all the time even universe is there consciousness is available even there is a no universe but still which is available is called absolute reality and in sanskrit they called as a parvartik satyam and they don't have any type of attributes this consciousness doesn't have any form and this this consciousness is all pervading and what is empirical reality so where we live is called empirical right now what we are experiencing is called empirical reality it has elements it has sun star moon all natural laws in our own body mind sense complex are available in this vyavaharik reality and a third one is called subjective reality and they called as a pratibhasik satya and a subjective reality generally they give the example is a dream generally dream whatever we see in dream when we get up we say it is not real it is a 
असत्यम सो अनरियल सो जैसे प्रातिभासिक सत्यम he gave a classical example of dream but more and more if we analyze then what comes under vyavaharik satya and what comes under pratibhasik satya so i have said yesterday we have seen the definition of mithya so really speaking mithya doesn't mean it is not available but the meaning of mithya For one's own existence, but depends on someone else. It is called mithya. So this is the definition. Adhara ananyato. So yesterday I don't have the quote, but if I say this is a quote, in the weight of the quote is a weight of clay. Whenever I touch, is nothing but clay only. And even inside, if I touch. Is pot only? So what is this clay or pot? So we say nothing, but this is a clay. Means the material cause of pot is nothing but clay. We can say clay is appearing in different form and clay appears in different shape. But really speaking, this is clay, not pot, in our understanding. Same way we know. Who is the material cause of whole jagat? So we know the material cause of whole jagat is nothing but Ishwar. Ishwar himself become everything. Everywhere in the Indra Upanishad, in the Upanishad, everywhere it is given. Sah Kamaya, Sah Sarva Abhavat. That Paramatma became everything. So we can say whatever available here, right now in front of us, is nothing. But different names and different shapes of the Ishwara. Nothing else like this pot is nothing but clay. Same way, one jagat is nothing but only different name and shape of Ishwara. This is called the mithya. Mithya doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It is a wrong. But the mithya definition in Vedanta, otherwise the meaning of mithya is wrong because. In, in contact, but here the mithya is, which is not available. It is not exist. It's not like that. But it depends on someone else. So Paramatma is the material cause of whole jagat. It means whole jagat is nothing but Ishwar. And these names and forms are temporary. I think she is not. In what is available in seven in this Vyavaharik Sattva? So I have shown seven up, seven down. We say Bhuvu Bhuvaha Suvaha Mahaha Jana Tava Sattya are lokas, are above. And they say Atal, Pitar, Sutal, Prasatal, Taratal and Pata are down below. These are called Chauta Loka. There is a fourteen sloka. This is called the universe. So these are called the fourteen lokas, and this is this whole jagat is a srushti of Ishvara because Ishvara has created this whole jagat and he himself become whole jagat. This is called Ishvara srushti. Now, if we go in. Pratima Sikhsatta, so I have given not only dream, but a mere imagination are also called Pratima Sikhsatta or subjective. And this is snake or rock. This is the classical example of Vedanta, ghost or dry food. They say is a Buddha in, in, in darkness of uh, in some time in night, we are going somewhere. This is a dry tree, and somebody is saying, some cloth is hanging in dry tree. We start thinking this is good. But this is our own imagination. This is also called eh? Pratima Sikh Satta. Even this is called subjective reality. And one more thing which I have taught yesterday 
our own mind's projection. We think whatever we are thinking is only correct. This is also subjective reality. It is a story in Ramayana. Anmanji Maharaj went to Ashokvatika. He saw Sita Ji. He did pranam. Everything episode has been over. Then Anmanji asked Sita Ji, why this Ravana has planted old trees have red flowers? He asked the question. Then Sita Ji says, it is not like that. There are colorful flowers, but you have too much anger in your eyes. And anger's colors is red. So you are seeing everything is red. Same way, some we are people we are seeing with jealousy. We are seeing people with anger. And what we are, and then we start our transaction with such people, same way. So it is called we are living in our own reality. This is called Jiva Srishti. Vihavarik Sattva is called Ishwara Srishti. Why this subjective reality, what we think is called Jiva Srishti. And this is Vedanta says, this Jiva Srishti means Jiva. What we think is only correct, this jiva cannot jump from jiva directly to Brahman. This jiva has to understand whatever available here is nothing but Ishwara. When we understand what does Shastra says, when we accept it, whole jagat is a Ishwara. The mean that that means our mind is expert. Our mind is ready to accept each and every people without any coloration, then we are accommodating the people. Such mind, if we give this message, Tattvamasi, means you are the Ishwara, then we can understand, we can assimilate. If we are living in this Jiva Srishti, we are fighting with each and every people. If somebody says you are Ishwara, how this mind can accommodate? How can this mind, you know, can digest? That's why first from we have to change from Jiva Srishti to Ishwar Srishti means here everything is Ishwara. People may be, it's not that people may be correct all the time. People may be wrong. People can insult us. People can do anything. And if somebody asks why it is happening this, so I can say, Bhagavan would like to test us. Bhagavan would like to examine us. He would like to say whether we are again frustrated, again we are irritated, not. If we won't irritate, same episode won't come. In uh, Anaikati, when we are studying, so there are two rooms. In one room, there are one person has to live this side and one person is opposite side. They have to use common bathroom during our time. So after some time, two people went to Acharya, Puja Swami, they say, I would like to change my room. Then Swami says, why? She says, this person is nine, but this had some trouble. So sophisticated thing. They have present, I am not comfortable with this person. Then Swami has changed the room. He went in another room. After three minutes, again he came back with same complaint. I am not comfortable with this person. Again, complaint start. This is doing this and this. Again, Swamiji has changed. Again, after one or two months, same complaint. Then Swamiji says, you need not to change the room. You need to change your mind. According to your thinking, it doesn't mean everybody starts thinking. You just accept the person who is living in front of you, then, then you do not any problem. Then slowly that person understands and he starts accepting the opposite you know, partner, then he doesn't have complaint. Means when we complain, still we are in Jiva Srishti. We have our own subjective subjectivity, and according to subjectivity, we live in this world. In Vyahavarik world, we live with our own subjectivity. That's why Shastra says you should live in Ishwara Srishti, not in subjectivity.
So Ishvara Srishti means accept the paper. Whether good or bad, like I say, from one gold we can prepare a Rama also. From same gold we can prepare Ravana also. But basing this gold on the same way, even terrorists are there, even criminals are there. But basic reality is Ishvara has become everything. We need not to fight with them everything, but we should not, you know, we should not cluster or irritate to see these people, then our mind will be calm. In such calm mind, the message of the Vedanta for the whole will go. Otherwise, it won't possible. That's why is Ishwar Srashti, first we have to come to Ishwar Srashti, then only we can understand Vyavarik Sattva. And one more thing, Vyavarik Sattva is only understanding. Vyavarik Sattva we can, we can not access. Because it's the truth, we cannot see with our five sense organs. This is the truth. Like I have said, H2O is the truth of ocean also. H2O is the truth of even wave also. But it is understanding. Even when, when this uh, wave collapses, it forgets I was wave. It's because H2O. Same way, even we have grown up here, nothing but Ishwara only. But it doesn't mean these people will go. The people will remain same. The people even fighting remain same. But our drashti will change. Our perception will change. This is called Gnana. So this is, we have to understand Vyavarik Sattva, but still, it, as after Gnana also, we have to live in Ishwar Srishti only. Means this Vyavarik Sattva only. And this both, Vyavarik Sattva and even this subject in reality, both are temporary, but Satya means Parmarthik Sattva. And our real nature is Parmarthik Sattva only. So that's we have seen yesterday. So we have to be careful. We have to understand people are living in Jeeva Srishti only. Even this Vyavarik Sattva, they have their own subjectivities. And if subjectivity will go and we accept like this is not clear, the same way if we can see everything is Ishwara, then it's called Gnana. And now this Ajavi, Abhisan, Abhyayatma. So what does mean of Ajaha? So Bhagavan has told his own reality means Parvati Sattva. So Bhagavan has said, I am unborn. And the meaning of unborn is, I am not bound by time. This is called unborn. Even I am unborn. And Bhagavan says, Aham So my knowledge of Shina, Gnana Shakti Svabhavada is given in Shakar Mahashi. The meaning of Abhyayat. So one whose Knowledge, this Sarvagnatva never goes to way. It is called then Abhyaya. Yaya is to decline. Abhyaya means which is not subject to decline. But here, Bhagavan's Sarvagnatva omniscience doesn't go and way. This is called Abhyaya. So even the whole Yuga change, but Paramatma knows whose part Papi and Papa which jivas and chitkarma I want. And where I have to give a birth this jiva so he can have all experience of them. Everything is lost. This is called Abhyayat. And this Ishvara, not only Ajada, not only Abhyayat, but he is the Lord of all beings. That's why Buddha now Ishvara Habhavi, that Paramatma is. Lord of all beings, the meaning of Bhutana is beings. So what I have told this Brahmaji, Chaturmukha Brahmaji, in Vedanta, they called as a Hiranyaka. This is the first Jiva of whole universe. 
and in its last some virus are called all Buddhas. So total 84 lakhs yoni are called all beings. So Bhagavan says, I am a lone of all beings. The meaning Bhagavan knows where this jiva has to be. We are not serious, but I have found this punya. They say punya means because of punya, we are experiencing some sukha. But I say even punya have coloration. Generally, we say dog is a papio. But I have seen many dogs who are living in AC rooms. There are many dogs are available are living in AC room. So how can we say the papio? Still, they have some punya, no? So these are not black and white. Pop and punya are not black and white. They have shades and shades. So same way, somebody says we born in some wealthy family, consider as a punya. So if you born in some Saudi Arabia, in some Kings or some, some, you know, kings as a princess. There is a one book is called Princess. She has written the book and how she suffers. She has all gold plates, gold bowl, gold you know, spoon. Everything is there, but there is a no value of girl in Saudi Arabia. So she says, I read up how she read up everything. So to be born in wealthy family, we can't tell as a punya. So according to Shastra. To move with careful as a punya. So, if we have developed interest to know Ishwara, if we have developed interest to know oneself, then we can say, now our punya gets riper. So, punya means if we have some inclination toward Shastra, some inclination toward Ishwara, toward punya. Otherwise, there are many rich people. If we ask each and every people, they are not happy inside. So punya is not good, but the meaning of punya is if you have inclination to spirituality, it's called punya. In Bhagavan knows where should I give the birth of this jiva and this person pick up the threads of last birth. This is it's called Ishwara. Because Bhagavan knows where should I give the birth of all jivas. This is the slot of all jivas, and now Bhagavan says, What Bhagavan does? So he says, Adishthaya swam prakriti. Adishthaya is building. Bhagavan says, Having builded, swam means my own prakriti. The meaning of prakriti means maya. Material force, having builded my own power, which is called maya. And Bhagavan says, Atmaya, Aham Sankama. I am taking incarnation from it to me with the help of my own power, Maya. So, what is the difference between me and Ishwara? Yeah, always. So, I have just written one, there is a very small story. One day, my grandson was walking with the grandfather. And this grandson has seen one person was there. It was surrounded by police and police. So son has asked his grandfather, who is this person? Why so much police are surrounded by this person? Then he says, this is a thief. And it is a, it, it should not run away. That's why this police have ordered and he's taken to the jail. Then that episode over, so in that boy's mind has just stuck, okay, whenever police are there, it should be a thief. So after some time, 26th January has come. And today we was this watching that son, this all, you know, processor of Delhi. The president has come. And presidents was, you know, there are many army people. Many was there, they have called president. Then immediately this grandson has told his grandfather, look, he is the greatest thief. Because he is guarded by many army people, many police. Then grandfather says the difference between this person and that thief is he is surrounded by police, 
But this person is the master of this whole place. Because Rashtrapati is the chair of even three wings of our military. So we say this is the chair. Same way, this is the slot of Jiva and this is Ishvara. Ishvara is the Swami of Maya and we are under the Maya. So Swam is this why Bhagavan says Swam Prakriti and Atma Maya. This Maya is my own and it is under my control. Prakriti is my under control and with the help of Maya, Sampava means I come into being. I just have taken incarnation. And then this famous Yada Yada Nidharmasya Glani Prakriti Bharata Abhyutthana Adharmasya Tada Dhamana Srijamya So, Bhagavan says, O oh, Bharata, Bharata is a Sambodhana of Arjuna. He says, whenever, yada yada means whenever, he means because, like uh, we have said, means indeed he, this only one, the meaning is because. Because whenever dharmasya glani becomes, whenever there is a decline, of the dharma, the meaning of dharma is right attitude, right karma is subject to declare and what will happen? Abhyutthanam adharmasya. And this adharma is increased and dharma is decreased at that time. Tada means at that time, aha means myself, atmana means myself, srujami means coming to me. I'm just taking a physical appearance in front of people. Tadat Varnam Aham Srujam. So this is called Anvaya. If you understand, it's called but Anvaya. Means we can put each and every word of Sanskrit shloka in front of them. So Bharat Yada Yadani Dharmasya Glani Bhavati Ad Dharmasya at that time, Aham Atmanam Suja, at that time, I assume the body. And we have seen why Bhagwan is coming to be, the why Bhagwan has assumed the body. So, purpose of Avatar has been took by Bhagwan himself. So, he says, to be for other Masya, but purpose of Jiva is. Exhaust or prarabdhakar, and one chance again Bhagavan is given. That's why Bhagavan is given a human birth. Somebody asked after sleep why we are bankrupt. This is the question. No? Every day we go in deep sleep, but after sleep we wake up. Why? It says our prarabdha karma asked. Wake up. Still, you have to experience your own karma. You have to experience your pagopunya. And when prarab the karma gets over, it means the if we have close our eye, then we never open the eyes. So every day, this is the fact why we are getting up every day in the morning. We are open our eyes because to experience our own prarab. This is the answer. And when prarabdha karma over, everything is over. But why Bhagavan is the so to when this is the problem in the earth? So I have just written it is very nice thing. The purpose of Bhagavan. So I have written here. Healthy body has natural immunity system. This one, naturopathy people knows. He said, healthy body has natural immunity. Something goes in our nose, we start sneezing. Why we start sneezing? Because that foreign particle which goes inside, it can come out. That's why we start sneezing. Something goes in our eye, 
which starts tear starts from our eyes. So our foreign particle which has which has gone inside the eye, it can come out. Even something we have eaten which is not good, foreign particle, immediately I either vomiting or diarrhea starts. So something enters in our stomach or digestive system, it comes out. So it is called that we have normal natural immunity system. Same way, earth have also immunity system. Dharma is an immunity system. It is always people can live in harmony. If people is dharma, but when this immunity system is disturbed by what? By who? So unrighteous people who are not living a life of dharma, they always hurt other people. And it is difficult to manage by local people. So in Vishwamitra went to yeah, Vishwamitra went to Dashratha. Why? Please give me Rama. I cannot fight with marriage and so on. Then um, they have given Rama and Lakshmana. But when local people cannot fight with Adharmika people, at that time only Bhagavan has assumed the world. So at that time, Avatara is given. So Avatara is equal to Indian system of universe. So this is my assumption. Why Avatara is, is coming to the earth to the Indian system in the form of the And now we can ask what is there? This is the you know big question for people. What is the meaning of the Really speaking, I say there are many meanings of the many means many meanings. Like in third chapter, Bhagavan says, Swadharma Nilanam Shreyaka Paradharma Vayama. In third chapter, Bhagavan is saying, at that time, what is the meaning of Swadharma is our own duty. Swadharma Nilanam Shreyaka Paradharma Vayama. Saint Bhagavan is told in 18th chapter, Sarva Dharma Parityajya Amitam Sharana Praja. The meaning of Dharma means when you come under my feet, if you surrender to me, you should not worry about power and fear. So, at that time, the meaning of Dharma is nothing but power. Sarva Dharma, you give up your punya also, you give up your papa, surrender to me. I will take care of everything. So for Bhakta, Bhagavan takes care of them. Bhagavan has no problem. This is the meaning. But here, there is a totally different meaning. So what is the meaning of Dharma? It says, Dharayati iti Dharma, by which something can sustain. Dharayati is called sustain. By which everything is sustained is called Dharma. Something, if I give the example, there is one family. All family members are healthy. They are doing their job. They are living, you know, nicely. But if sometime in their family, somebody is sick and that person has to undergo some operation, then we can say the family become disturbed. The family members are disturbed. Same way, this whole universe is a Vasudeva Kutumbaka. This whole family, whole world is nothing. Vasudha means whole earth. Kutupaka is like a one family. So if each and every people give the respect to each and everybody, so these people are living in harmony. But for cutting corners, there are more ambitions people are given to other. And when people are given to other, they try to abuse someone, they try to hurt someone, and this dharma, this harmony of whole jagat is disturbed. This, here the meaning of dharma means harmony, to live in the harmony life. So by which law and order of the world is sustained, and when law and order is sustained, when people love each other, when people respect each other, there is even Sambhata Sukta, you might have heard. One day I have chanted in Pujar. 
So let we go together. Let we speak in respect to each other. Let we respect each, each and everybody's thoughts. If people like that, it's called samvada, means harmony. But there is a no samvada. Yes, samvada is harmony. People always try to find out some problem in other. It is not harmony. So, this I have written here. Human being has gifted a free will. I think everybody knows the free will is given to us. Everybody knows what is the meaning of free will. Everybody knows the, what is the meaning of free will. Do you know what is the meaning of free will? Suppose, you know, this is the one good example I used to give. This is also given by Pujya Savage when he came here in Korvata. So he has given one example. This Gir guy, you know, Sasan Gir guy, is very famous. They say this Gir cow of Sasan Gir is very famous. Even this US people has asked give some Gir cows so we can have some good breed of cows. Gir cow. It's called Gir, forest Gir, Gir cows. So India's India, the government of India has decided to send some gear cows to the US. So when gear cows means young cows, young gear cows about to go, then mother cows must be there now. This young cow, then mother cow. Does mother cow give any type of advice to young gear cow? You are going to US, you should not eat, you should not drink something. You should not uh, go in the night somewhere. Does Girka, mother Girka, give advice to young Girka? No, why? Because they have their own pattern of thinking. It is a, it's a good, they have, Bhagavan has, you know, bless them with one only pattern. They can't move from that pattern. They have to give birth. After birth, they become say young. Then again, they have birth for their own space, species. Again, they have to accept. They never think if cow is eating grass, cow never asks, let me give some knowledge. Cow never asks. Because it is built up by Bhagavan only what should eat, what should not eat. But when it comes to human being, Many choices are there. What should we eat? What should not eat? When should, what should we wear? What should not wear? What fruits to be drink? What should not drink? What to smoke? What to not smoke? Everything. Why? So when Gandhiji is about to go to US or something in, you know, in Africa, so Mother Putri Bai has taken many vows. Don't eat this. Don't do this. Why? Because Bhagavan has blessed us with is called a free will. Because of free will, we can do whatever we like. We are not programmed by animals. This all except human being, all animals are programmed. They, they never have other thinking power. But we are blessed with. So Manaha Eva Manushana Karana Pandam Mukshay. Because of this only free will. Because of free will, we can have moksha also. And because of free will, person can become terrorist. Because of this free will only. That's why Bhagavan has gifted us free will. This Pujya Samiti used to, you know, when he used to take Yadi So many people are sitting in front of Samiji. And Samiji is ask everyone, you start claiming. It just suddenly says in all people, you start claiming. Somebody will claim. Somebody will say, why? What's wrong with Swamiji? Why should he ask? So no, somebody can not claim. Somebody claiming like this. Then Swamiji says, this is called free will. When I ask, please claim. So people think, why should I claim? I won't claim. Somebody says, Swamiji is telling, let me claim. One is telling, Swamiji Differently. 
So we give the definition of Ishwara Kartu, Akartu, Anyatha Kartu. There is one definition of Ishwara. Kartu means doing. Akartu, not doing. Anyatha Kartu, doing differently. This is for human being. We can do it. We cannot do it also, and we can do it differently. Why? Because this free will is given. And because of free will only, we can have punya papa. This, all this uh, lion and tiger, if kids deer, they never eat their papa. This is their food only. But if we eat our ways, then we eat their papa. Because free will is given. That's why here is given. Why adharma is there? Because Bhagavan has gifted us is a free will and person can abuse this free will and get pleasure to get wealth. They cut corners. They can, you know, kill the people in corporate world. What is not going on? So these are all we are abusing our free will. And when people follow righteous way to achieve their worldly goal, it is a healthy there's nothing wrong with this. If people can live harmony, but these people would like to come in first in this reigning race or corporate world. They would like to come first. What do they do? They say the people take shortcut to achieve wealth, to get a name and fame, etc. This society becomes sick and then the strength of society becomes weak. It is called glanihi bodhi. This is the meaning of dharmasya glanihi, adharmasya ruddhi. Abhyutthana means ruddhi. So terrorism are called adharmasya ruddhi. Global warming is called adharmasya ruddhi. This Russia and what another? Ukraine. This for nuclear war. I got to. Is the dharma corruption are all are called other possibility about it. And at that time, Bhagavan says, I assume a form. Hmm? Still, Bhagavan thinks we can manage these people. That's why it's not right. Otherwise, there's Kalki Yota will come, they say. But still, it says, this is the first charana of Kali Yuga. It is not extreme Kali Yuga. In extreme Kali Yuga, there is a no relationship between human beings. People are living like anyone. Else. Nobody will listen to anyone. They do whatever like Pita Pita Nabhavati, Putri Putri Nabhavati. There is a no relationship. Like animals are living, same society. At that time, it says Kali Yuga is at the most. And even they say, nowadays, Katha is there, people used to go, they would like to listen something, but at that time, nobody will be interested in Ishwara. It's called Kali Yuga's fourth stage. At that time, some government. At that time, if let's walk, and walk, we should not be there. Why should we see this? <laughs> so it says, now, if we say the Shloka, Hey Bharata, the king, the descendant of King Bharata. Yada Yada means whenever he means indeed, Dharmasya Glani, the decline of right living, Bhavati is there, and a Dharmasya of Yudhan. So a Dharmasya means the wrong living. Pyutthana means it increased everywhere. Tata, at that time, Aham is myself, Atmanam Srujami. I have come into being, otherwise, I appear in the form of human being. So here I have written Bhagavan has to perform three roles. One is a creator, one is a sustainer, and one is a dissolve. Everything we drop. So when Bhagavan appear as an incarnation, its goal is performing a role of sustain. So you would like to, this whole world should move. So it is called, Avtara is playing a role of 
sustainer. And why Papa is, and what is the joke of Ishwara having taken the form? This is the Bhagwan's answer. Why I am coming into being? He says, Paritranaya sadhuna vinashaya jadushkuda dharma sanstapana atraya sambhavami yuge yuge. So he says, three work Bhagwan has to perform. Paritranaya sadhuna. Second one is Vinashaya Chidushkruta. And fourth one is, third one is Dharma Sansthapana Thai. To protect good people, to destroy wrongdoers. Dushkruta is the wrong word. And re established Sansthapana is re established of Dharma. For the sake of re-establishing of dharma, Sampama, I am coming to be every yuga. This is very important. Every yuga. It is not only in Treta, it is not only in Papa, even not in Kaliuga. In my thinking, whenever with the heart, if we pray, Bhagavan has to come. This is called also Bhagavan Sampama, but not yuga yuga for some person. When we ask, Bhagavan will come, Sambhavami, okay, okay. The threefold reason what I have told, protect the people who live a life of dharma, destroy a people who don't follow dharma into re-establishment of the For three, this karyam, Bhagavan says, I am coming to be. The first one is to protect the people who live a life of dharma. There is in sadhu now paritranaya. So what is the meaning of sadhu? That I have given the definition. Sadhu now the parasya kaya. In our mind we say this is Vaishnava sadhu, this is Sabinara sadhu, this is somebody Shema sadhu. But it is not in sadhu's meaning. One who is ready to fulfill others, to, uh, one who is helpful to others is sadhu. It may be in colorful cloth also. It may be white cloth. It may be in orange cloth. So this is called sadhu. And one famous line in our Shastra, Rakshitaha Dharmaga. Rakshat, Rakshito Dharma Rakshat. But I have to speak the Sandhi. Dharma protects Dharma Rakshati. But which type of Dharma? Rakshita. Protected Dharma can protect. So what does this mean? Dharma Rakshati means Dharma protects. But which type of Dharma protect? Itself should be protected. Protected Dharma can protect other people. So what does it mean? So I just written down below. This dharma, you know, it's not available in shop. In mall, we can't say and we can ask shopkeeper, I need one kg dharma or I need 500 grams dharma. We cannot ask why. What is the reason? Dharma is not tangible. Dharma is life for them. And if, if people are living the life of dharma and if they are in trouble, and how they can protect the dharma. They teach dharma to other people. They have to they have to propagate dharma. But if these people are in trouble, how can they propagate? How can they teach? That's why a people who are living a life of dharma, they should be protected. So what Rama and Krishna has done really speaking, Rama went to forest. Maybe Kaikaya and maybe one purpose. Rama himself would like to go in forest so that he can meet each and every sadhus. He can meet even this Rupa Raja everywhere. So he can see the picture of his kingdom, whether people are protected or not. If they have some trouble, then it's, uh, if you heard Virat, there is one name in Ramayana. This Virat, 
But this you see to Shanti, 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 Shanti,